In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a thoughtful product recommendation in your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and we're currently looking at this camera product here. And as you can see, we've got some thoughtful product recommendation here. So if someone's purchasing this camera, then they might need a travel case for the camera and they'll most likely need a memory card for the camera, right? So we've thoughtfully tailored this particular offer for them. And as well, if they go ahead within this mini cart widget, we've got another opportunity to upsell them onto this particular bag here. Okay, so they can choose to accept the offer or not accept the offer. And then further below here as well, we're also upselling them on another um, shipping product. Okay, and then if they enable this option, it'll automatically add it to their cart. Not only that, but when they view the checkout page, Again, on the checkout page, we've also got another option to upsell them onto a particular product. In this case, since we've got the um, camera added to our cart, I'm upselling customers on getting this um, travel bag, okay? And then here as well, we're also upselling them on getting some shipping insurance. Okay, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite all-in-one at checkout plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so here we are on our WordPress dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin, go ahead and upload that plugin. So you just go um, plugins, add new. Once you've done so, if you're a WeSuite customer, you'll see this WeSuite menu here, and then you'll see this all-in-one checkout menu here. If you're not a WeSuite customer, then you'll just see this menu item somewhere around here, okay? So we'll just go ahead and click on it and we'll create our first offer. Okay, so this plugin allows you to do several things, okay? But throughout this video, we're just gonna focus on creating a thoughtful product recommendation for our customers, okay? So we'll just go ahead and click on order bump here. And then here we can create multiple order bumps. So we'll just click add order bump, we'll give it a name. Okay, since I've already created one, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit one of the order bump I've already created. So we've got this camera upsell order bump here. Okay, and then the first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and add the product, okay? So you'll just search for the product, for example, um, SD card, then just click add product. Okay, then the product will be added. Okay, I'm just gonna remove this. Okay, and that's deleted. Okay, so assuming you've got your product here, here we can offer customers a discount. So we can offer a percentage discount based on a sale price or a fixed amount based on a sales price and a percentage discount on a regular price or a fixed amount of the regular price, okay? So I'll change this to a percentage based on the regular price and it's a 15% discount and we can change the quantity here as well. So for the behavior, we're just gonna select um, add order bump to cart. So if the customer accepts this um, order bump, then it'll automatically just add it to their basket, okay? Okay, replace order bump with cart item. So we won't do this in this case. I'll create another video going into more details with regards to these options here. So we can choose the position display and we'll display it above the order summary. We can display it below the order summary as well and in these other positions. But I'm gonna set it above for now. And then we can create a rule priority. So the rule priority comes in handy when you've got various different product recommendation going in the event that a customer matches multiple recommendations, okay? So we can navigate to conditions and then we'll come back to design shortly. So for the rule here, it would make sense to only display this product recommendation when a customer um, purchases a product from our photography category, okay? So we can do it that way. Um, in the future as well, we'll add more conditions so you can do it based on the item and so on. Currently, we've got um, based on the cart total, um, the cart subtotal, category, um, the number of items in the basket, shipping country, billing country. And as I said, we'll be adding more conditions as time go on. So for now, we'll just set it to show when a customer purchases something from the photography category, okay? And then for design, here we can go ahead and choose our design. So we've got two designs currently. So we've got our default design, okay, which is this one. And then we've got our notification design, okay? Okay, so from the design tab, we've got two um, design options. So we've got the default design, which is this, 
and then we've got our notification design okay okay so for the notification design it actually has some special conditions meaning it can run alongside the standard uh, order bump okay so you can display a notification um, upsell and also a standard order bump upsell as well we typically tend to use these notification style upsell for our shipping insurance so for example here say you get protected and add shipping and then the user can enable this option to add shipping insurance to their basket okay so we'll switch this back to the default um, order bump Okay, and then here we can just enter in um, our copy. So for the title, which is here, and the title will show the product name. So we can add some extra text if we want, but I'm just gonna um, leave it as the product title. Then we've got the description here, protected gear with our Mark II bag, lightweight and durable. And then we've got our call to action, okay, which is here. Um, yes, add this to my order. And then we can choose to display um, the product image or remove it, okay? Then we can just hit save here. Okay, so one more thing before we actually leave this um, page. So if you notice on our product page, we've got this mini cart widget here and we actually recommending products directly in the mini cart area. Okay, so where it says mini cart here, we just want to enable this option and then we want to enable the option to show the order bump and then we can choose the position of the order bump. So we can display it at the top or at the bottom. Currently I'm displaying it at the bottom and then here where it says show the discounted price in the order bump, what this option does, so I'm going to select no here. Okay, so where it says allow um, customers to add order bump in the mini cart, we're going to enable this option and for this discounted price, we've left it disabled for now and i'll show you why so i'm gonna save changes and if you notice um within this mini cart area here it's showing the discounted price that we set um, in our order bump so typically this product 65 dollars whereas here it's showing as 55 dollars but now since i've disabled the discount in a mini cart um, widget when we refresh this page it should still recommend um, the same product but at full price okay Yep, so here the customer is getting it at the $65. I personally recommend not giving a discount within the mini cart widget. And the reason being is they'll, you'll have different type of customers, right? There's the customers that will just um, add it to cart and they don't particularly care for a discount. So then you can basically maximize your revenue. And then you've got other customers that love a good deal. For those customers, they'll see this product recommendation and they might think $65 is too high. So they might choose not to take you up on this offer. But then when they go to the checkout area, because we're displaying the discount on the checkout area, they might remember that this was $65. And since we're giving it for a discount now, so then those customers might take you up on the offer. And we can just click this box here and it'll add it to our cart at the discounted price as well. Okay, so we can proceed and check out. We can also add um, insurance upsell to our cart also. Okay, and then we could just check out as normal. Okay, so let's head back to the product page. If you wanted to create this type of um, combo offer, um, we've recently created a video showing you how to create this type of offer. So I'll leave a link in the description and I'll leave a link on the screen somewhere around this video. So you can go ahead and check out how you actually create this. Um, and this is created using the WeSuite product bundle plugin, okay? Which is when we navigate to plugins, it's using this WeSuite product bundle plugin here. So you can create that combo recommendation like this. You can create product bundles. You can create volume based discounts and so much more. And that's just a quick example of how you can create a thoughtful product recommendation in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.